Hello, I'm Ineos from ToyRatedCinematics.com and today I'll be showing you how to create a nice futuristic text effect in Adobe Photoshop. So um, if you want to know which tutorials I will be making, I always, um, or most of the time, I upload a preview of the tutorial I will be making and then I ask my community what they think if I should make one or not. So um, be sure to follow me on Facebook. This is the text effect uh, that we are going to create in Adobe Photoshop. So let's open Photoshop. But um, first uh, we need to go to dafont.com to find a nice font for our uh, futuristic text effect. So go to sci-fi and just try to find something that you like. Um, I chose um, this one over here and the Xarot over here. So just download it, install it, and then open up Adobe Photoshop. Once you've done that, go to uh, File, New, and then just uh, enter the dimensions over here. So I will go for a wallpaper resolution over here. Uh, well, for my resolution, of course. Then I'm going to rename it to um, Futuristic and Text Effects. Okay, there we go. And hit Enter on the keyboard. Then I'm going to the um, Gradients over here, tool over here and I'm going to take a gradient from light gray to a little bit darker light gray so um, you can also create a new gradient so uh, you don't have to make it again if you want to use it again then I'm going to uh, drag from the center of our, uh, my background and drag it out of the corner over here and what I will do is uh, create a nice soft gradient uh, such as over here so um, once you've done that, just hold Ctrl and press J on the keyboard um, while your um, layer over here is selected. And then we're going to filter noise and add noise for some small textures. So um, change the amount to 400% Gaussian and make sure it's monochromatic. Then hit OK and change the opacity to 5%. So you barely see anything, but it's um, a very subtle um, texture and maybe even smaller, 4%. Okay. There we go, and then I'm going to pick my te my text tool. I'm going to change it to um, 200 pay, uh, pay t, and I'm going to change the font to Xarot over here. And click on my um, composition over here, and then I'm going to enter my text. I'm going to center this out, and maybe 200 is way too big, so um, 160 should be fine. There we go. Then hold Ctrl and press A on the keyboard to um, make a selection, which is, uh, just like this over here, while your text layer is selected. And then click over here to just center this out. Um, so then it's in the middle of our composition. Um, well, window. I use composition for After Effects, and um, that's why I'm using composition. But uh, I don't uh, I don't think it's the right um, name for this. But um, whatever. Okay. So uh, once you've done that, right click on your futuristic text and go to blending options. Right over here we want to change the color to a gradient overlay and we want to change the black to a very very dark um, yeah, gray and change it to a still dark but lighter gray just like this like you have again a subtle uh, transition over here. Then I'm going to press um, the drop shadow and add some shadows so distance 3 and uh, maybe 15 snow 10 size then over here and change the opacity to let's say 40% okay and hit enter on the keyboard then hold control and press on the thumbnail of our text and as you can see your text will be selected then we want to create a filter and uh, no um, go to select modify and contract over here then we want to change the contraction by 10 pixels and hit okay then duplicate this text effect by holding Ctrl and pressing J on the keyboard or right click and duplicate layer, hit OK. And now we want to click on this mask tool over here, so mask layer. If you click that, that will make a mask for our text um, if I deselect this one. You can see this is our selection that we made. Um, so that's for the glow inside of our text. Make sure this layer is on top. So um, this layer should be on top and then we're going to right click over there, blending options again. Go to the gradient overlay tool again, click um, this, um, make a blue uh, gradient again, so something like um, this should be working fine. Hit OK. Adding a inner glow and going to change it to a very light blue. Change the blend mode to linear dodge and change the size to 3 or maybe 5. Oh no, 5 is too big, 4 is pretty good and change the opacity to 60%. Then we want to 
create a other glow so go to other glow and again pick a nice blue color again linear dodge and opacity can stay the same and just change the size to um, whatever you like I will go for 13, uh, 13 okay there we go hit OK on the keyboard then go to the futuristic text again so this layer um, this one and we wanna right click blending options um, no we don't wanna go to blending options we wanna duplicate it and on the um, latest um, layer over here we wanna just scale it up just a bit to create some nice um, 3D feeling into this um, go to blending options and change the gradient overlay instead of uh, a dark gradient to a lighter uh, gradient maybe this is uh, not light enough so um, something like this should be work fine okay there we go hit ok and then again ok and maybe scale it up just a bit more to make sure we have everything okay um, something like this maybe it's too big even or if we scale it down we have a better effect okay so scale it down instead of up so um, I'm sorry go back to blending options and um, to drop shadow and just uh, change the opacity to 25 so it's really subtle but um, now you can see that um, the white uh, you can see the corners of the white because if you don't use drop shadow you won't be able to see it because of the background so that's why I like to use a subtle drop shadow over here so once you've done that go back to your um, uh, first, uh, second uh, futuristic text and go to blending options and just add a simple bevel and emboss just like three pixels or something just so it's um, beveling just a bit uh, change this to 200 percent and maybe even two instead of three okay there we go and change this opacity to 60 and hit ok so there we go we already have this uh, futuristic text now the only thing we want is um, some glow effects on the text itself so we want to close these effects down so we have a nice view of our composition um, of our layers sorry and then I'm gonna create a new layer on top of um, every layer and name it to glow light okay now we want to pick our brush tool and go to change the size to um, let's say 50 pixels I guess or maybe even smaller 35 okay we'll pick 35 and hardness to 0% then we want to change our foreground color to a nice darker blue color just like this over here and change the blending mode for this layer to linear dodge and now when you click on top of your layer you can see some nice light effects as over here so just click some random positions and you'll see at the end you have some nice light effects okay so I'm gonna do that and be right back and there we go so if we zoom out over here um, maybe it's too big um, that's okay so 100% um, this is our text effect I hope you liked the tutorial and I hope you um, check out my ch channel for more tutorials also check out my website at toleratedcinematics.com all sorts of tutorials also and um, you can also see them there and um, there you can uh, choose your category, uh, category for uh, Photoshop, After Effects, Cinema 4D and yeah that's it for now uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to like me on Facebook so you can see my uh, future uh, tutorials over here. So uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.